distracted by you. I could just think it's just me. I distract myself. Good grief. Look at that. They've got sheep in a farm of a solar farm. There's sheep walking around there cutting the grass. Isn't that cool? My son telling me about that. That's one way to keep the grass mown under those panels. The sheep. It's perfect. They do it. Okay, so today the toilet thing, uh, what is it called? A seal? The seal in the RV leaks or something. I can't remember exactly what it looks like and I don't remember the type or exactly anything about it. So I went to the RV store, armed with all that very scant information, toilet seal leaks, and they replaced it, he and Dennis, they replaced it with a wax seal, which he said will probably work. But in actuality, RVs don't want wax seals, they want that's gotten up onto the roadside. One of those big as a steering wheel size. Maybe is it not quite, not quite as big as a steering wheel. Turtle. Okay, so I go straight at this intersection. So I'm keeping a list of all the places in Peterborough that I've been. Because Peterborough is an unknew, unknown destination to me. It's a place that's always been a bunch of trouble to get around because I like to stay on Highway 7 to go right across and Ottawa to Toronto sometimes but Highway 7 oh I have a roundabout and that means that I can go and he doesn't have to worry about me and I don't have to worry about him really drive I would show it to you but that would be the right thing to do and I don't have a, a capability of the right thing to do in this situation. Anyway, that wouldn't be the right thing to do, that would be touching it, but you can't see it so it would be the right thing to do if you're watching. Stevenson's Family Market. So I'm, I'm, I went out and I got myself a seal which I guess is a foam seal, RVs take foam seals. And then he asked, or is such and such clogged up? Yikes. I don't like toilets. I don't like anything about them. And I certainly don't want to know about what's clogging them up or what. I forget. So I just took the foam seal and that was that. I said, okay, I'll look at it and I'll, I'll call you up with a photograph with the model and name, right? Serial number and model. I just had a flashback to a farm in Georgia. It was a really pretty farm. Georgia farms are not like Canadian farms. Canadian farms are like cropland, like out west. Now what am I doing? Going up here to Lansdowne. So first thing is I went there to the RV store, got that seal, and then I remembered that the latch that holds the screen to the door so you can open them together or to the frame of the v of the RV so it'll stay closed. That latch does you have to pull it up to lock it. It's very strange. And so of course gravity wants to unlock it all the time. Gravity should be blocking it. Somebody's design. It was not made by a woman. I believe. Maybe it was. Eh. Not a woman. A woman wouldn't make design it like that. Anyway, so I got a replacement of those. And while I was there, they had these nylon hammocks, which go into a ball like that. So I got one. Because I know what my body's like. Everybody knows their own body. You go to a doctor, and the doctor immediately thinks, you don't know your body. Forget it. You don't know your body. I know your body. You can tell me one or two items, and I know everything. Well, that's not true. Because if they did, what does that say? Cardiology and nuclear services. Trent University Bata, Sherbrooke. Sherbrooke must be a street because that's a city bus. It's 
it's not just Sherbrooke, Quebec, which is 10 hours from here, or I don't know how long. Anyway, it's way up there. It's up in, in Quebec, north of Maine. Maine likes to say that it's really far north. It's really, really north. Anyway, just saying, our south is where they're north. And they also had a backpack that dissolved into this little tiny purse-like thing, little tiny thing. And I need a backpack, but the one I got, it's it's good, it's it's useful, but it's so big, and it in itself is anyway. So I got this other backpack, and I got the and then I was looking for dominoes because that would be a nice thing to do is play dominoes sometimes. But they, so she sent me back to Fowler's Corners and then to, Fowler's Corners is an intersection. I'm learning. I did not know Fowler's Corners was an intersection. Now this is another intersection which I'm going to go on Lansdowne. So she said to go to Mastermind Kids. Mastermind Kids is a pretty good choice pretty expensive, but it's a good toy store. They don't have a Toys R Us, which is what I was told is where those other dominoes were found. Those were like the, I don't know what they're made of, but they feel like ivory. You better not be ivory, right? Okay, Lansdowne appears to be the center of, or at least the populated area. There's the shopping, there's Main Street. Main Street has stores. But then there's out of town a little bit where you get shopping shopping centers and malls. Now malls generally stores. Every time somebody decides to build a mall, just knock knock hammer hammer hammer. Who will we rent to? Well, let's go to all the standards. Reitman's. I don't know who they are anymore. There was, there's a whole bunch of them, and you go to one of them, one mall, and you see all of them. I remember Reitman's because I used to buy blouses there sometimes when they were cheap. I'm cheap a person. I like being a cheap person. I think that if you have some money, you should probably not just spend it because you can. You should probably not. You should probably leave it alone. People that have a lot of money generally don't spend a lot of money, which is how they become wealthy. They just don't spend anything. That's my ex-in-laws. They didn't spend anything they didn't absolutely have to spend. And I mean absolutely have to spend. But then I met another lady that never turned on the, on the electricity at night. She never turned lights on. She worked in the dark. And she bought her children each a house. Somehow she was able to have such a tiny electrical bill. She just had one regular income. Oh look, there's Canadian Tire. So I need to change lanes. So, um, so I went to this place to look for dominoes, which was called The Barn or The Craft Works, something like that. I wanted to film it for you because I thought it was a kind of neat little shop of goodies. It had, it said craft market in it. And so I took along my lovely basket that's a double basket. It's a basket with a little basket of above on the handle. Oh look, Arby's is across the road. Do you really, sis? And Sobeys is here. I don't think I would want Sobeys. I guess that's a grocery store, is it? Alright, so we're going to park at Canadian Tire, and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to get a charger to connect my laptop laptop electrical plug. So I'll have a, I want an outlet. Some kind of an outlet. You know, I have a, I have a handicap thing. It seems rather silly to be a groundskeeper at a camp and yet need to use a handicap sticker because it's too far to walk. I know, but it's my life. In-store pickup. 
auto service customers only. Auto service in store. Nope, can't mark them. Oh, look, the handicap one. It's waiting just for me. And from here, I can wobble over. From here, I can, I can wobble over to the um, cart. Oops. Okay, so anyway, I went to this craft part and I had my beautiful basket along. Isn't that a lovely basket? And I was gonna, you know, like, be one of them. But no. It was all bought and stuff. There were a few things that had been handmade by local people of some sort, but, but nobody was there. But it was a really cute store. It had all kinds of cool things like, welcome to my porch. And it put had a, a mug with a cardinal on it that said heaven sent. Like that, I should have gotten that because I just love cardinals. And I've prayed many times for a cardinal. And I've seen them the odd time. Like that's a really silly thing to look for as a cardinal because they are so common in cities. But they don't come along out in the country. Okay, so I'm going to go in Canadian Tire. Isn't that an awesome basket? Thank you. I'm glad you realized that. I stole the design. This one is not the one that I... This is cedar bark corner and willow. Anyway, I think I made it on here, didn't I? Okay, so the thing I was going to get here is that charger thing. Was there anything else? Now, where is the list when you need one? So I've gotten the latch for the screen door. And I've gotten, what's the other thing I've gotten? The latch from the screen door. The toilet thing. There's problems with the lights, but I really don't want to get into fixing lighting and electrical stuff. That's not, I don't feel like it. It's gonna, because the dust in it is gonna fall down on my pillow and I don't really want to do that. If it was somewhere else, I could do that. All right, so we're gonna go in here to Canadian Tire and we're gonna get that adapter. What else do I need from Canadian Tire? You need a tatting, oh, I need a toilet seat. A tatting shuttle, oh yes, a tatting shuttle. I found one, I have it, I don't know where it is, but I found it. I am having a bit of a, with having any energy. So I bought some Diet Coke, because I need some energy. Sometimes my pain medication takes away my energy, but it gets rid of my pain. Diet Coke is bad for you for many, many reasons the phosphorus in it, the phosphoric acid, it really does a terrible thing on your joints. And the aspartame makes you crave sugar. Everywhere you look, you want a little. Somewhere, is there sugar somewhere? Sugar, sugar, sugar. And you gain weight. You don't gain weight because of drinking this. You gain weight because of what you eat because you drink this. Ugh, that went down. I made a big bubble in my in my chest. <sighs> That's another reason you shouldn't drink Diet Coke. You should take all the fizz out first. All right, well, look at all those beautiful plants. Gee, it looks like somewhere I would want to just hang out and look at everything. It was raining earlier. I think the rain is finished. Sorry I didn't make any videos the whole time we were camping with my family. We didn't have any cell service. Now and then you get one dot. I missed many phone calls. I missed everything. But that was the camping thing. But you guys get to come on our camping mission. So this is one of those days when I have to get stuff. I'll see if they have dominoes here. Canadian Tire has toys sometimes. Especially they like to be involved with people's summer cottaging experiences. They really like to be all over that. Because then you spend your money here. A lot of people on the move this summer. We had to come the north route yesterday to avoid 
Highway 7 because Highway 7 is just it's a big river of traffic. Okay, so now I'm going to go in Canadian Tire. And we'll see how long I remember what I'm going to get. Adapter. Dominoes. Toilet seat. All right. Ha, adapter, dominoes, and toilet seat. So should I bring my lovely basket? What is the practical use? Will my adapter fit in it? Maybe. How about the toilet seat? No. What's the other thing? Adapter, toilet seat, dominoes. The dominoes will fit in here. But I will need to have a cart anyway. But it, with this, I could put my keys in it. And I could put my phone in it. It does seem a little overkill. I think I'll just leave it here. This is what I always do. I just don't take it in. Because it's so pretty. But it's really kind of impractical for what I'm getting. It would be okay to do stuff like to put things in it that you know are small. Now, where are the carts? Look at this. You know, I finished with a cart. When I'm using a handicap thing, when I finish with the cart, I leave it right here. Because then, when you come out of your handicap car, then I'm going to turn you around. Okay then, here we go. When you come out of your handicap car, then you have a cart. Looks like you have to go all the way over there. Ah, looks like a cart over there. The cart is stuck. Nevertheless, my knee is not working. Hens and chicks. Look at those tiny little ones. Welcome to Canadian Tire. Big Brother is watching you. <laughs> okay. I didn't go for that. Surprise you. what it was. Dominoes.
of paper and a pen or a pencil? I could be, I just need a paper. I just have three things to write down, which I can't seem to remember in a way. Thank you. You can remember them backwards, though. Oh, well. Let's see about that. Charger. Dominoes. A toilet seat. That's it. My Do you need just, any of that from us? All of it. Okay. So dominoes I, like the game? Yes. If I have dominoes like the game, you're going to go up these middle aisles to the change directions and it will all party city upon 65. 63. 63. Okay. Toilet seats are 18. 18. Oh, yes, that's right. Just write the number. What kind of charger? Um, I've got it. This time. Oh, you're going to need to write that down. You can put the things today. 63 and 18. Boy, you okay, should just seven. deal with it. and darts.
composting toilet. I'm going to make one. Of these. Okay then, let's see what we have here. Thank you so much. Right here when you're ready. I'm going to make the 
toilet outside. I'm going to take a chair that's ripped. I'm going to cut a circle in it. I'm going to put a toilet seat on it. And I'm going to put a bucket under it. That'll do. And it's going in the woods. <laughs> Love it. You too. Thank you. <laughs> you too. about me? Why was it beeping? Did that beep about me? I guess nobody's running after me, so it must be okay. Okay then. You finished? I am. Thank oh, you good. for